Well, good day to all and God's blessings to each of you. I pray this message finds all of you in good health and good spirits. Our gospel reflection today comes from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. Now, the first part of our reading, we have a scholar of the law asking Christ this question. What must he do to inherit eternal life? Christ's answer is what we know as the two great commandments. He replies, you shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your being, with all of your strength, and with all of your mind, and to love your neighbor as yourself. You know, a similar question appears in the parable of the rich young man, and he gets the same basic answer, to keep the commandments and to love your neighbor as yourself. Now, isn't this really the most basic question all of us want answered? You know, we live this life of faith, and we want to make sure that we are living our faith out correctly. To love God in a way described here means God is first in your life, not after you've done everything else. To love someone this way means you have a very personal relationship with that individual. I mean, this language really is what describes marital love. This is how we're also to love our neighbor. We get the parable of the Good Samaritan as an example of what it means to love your neighbor. You know, the love of neighbor should be the result of your love of God, not because God commands it. And when you have faith like this, you see people in the world differently. You see the image of God in everyone, regardless of who they are and what they think of you. I mean, think of it this way. The fullest expression of my love of God is expressed in how I love my neighbor. But we have to be careful not to view this as a checklist. If I do A, B, and C to get D, I mean, this is how the Pharisees thought. It's very legalistic. And love is not legalistic. To love is not a commercial transaction where I expect something in return. True love is to give selflessly, selflessly, without any expectations. You do it because it's right and for the good of the other. If it's been a while since you've read the parable of the Good Samaritan, maybe take time today to do so. And if you can, do one act of charity for someone else. This is true treasure in heaven. Well, that's our reflection for today. Let us continue to pray for an end to this pandemic and through the intercession of St. Raphael the Archangel that a vaccine and treatment can be found for this virus. Let us also pray for all who have contracted this virus, especially our President and First Lady, that all can have a speedy recovery. And also let's pray for an end to all of the hate speech, all of the violence that we see out there. May they all come to know the love of God, and even maybe through us. Well, may Almighty God bless each and every one of you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, have a wonderful day. God bless.